Since it's summertime, uh, Tariq and I had a friendly competition to see who could make the best burger. That's right. It is time for the first annual. Is it going to be annual? Uh, tonight's show, Burger Off. Uh, that's right. Now, Right now, we will find out finally, once and for all, who is the food master. The rules are simple. We each had to make a burger and pair it with a side and a drink. Whoever makes the most delicious plate possible is the winner and gets their name engraved on The Tonight Show Burger Off Golden Hamburger. <laughs> Earlier, Tariq and I made our burgers and we recorded the whole thing. Uh, check it out. Hey, what's up? The champ is here. I'm Tariq Trotter. I'm here to win probably my third ring. I decided to go with uh, a Kobe beef burger on uh, a homemade brioche bun with garlic truffle fries. I think Jimmy's going to try and go high-low. There's a place in New York City that serves a burger. It's like $1,000 or something. There's gold leaf. I think he's going to do something like that. I'm Jimmy Fallon, and I'm here to make some Burgers. A champagne double smash mustard burger with caviar fries. It's a smash burger that's smashing. We're gonna use this ground beef right here. This is Chuck. This is 70-30. Look at this. We'll put our meat into the bottom. It shows the exact amount that you're gonna want to use for each patty. Jimmy, you're a genius. I already know that. This is how I make a hamburger. Kobe beef is something that you do for a special occasion. And this is a special occasion in that it's an ass whooping. And you're going to want to freshly plop it there so that it cooks in its own juices. That's a hot pot. I'm going to put these guys on the area that I've already onioned up. I think a mistake that some people make is that they flatten their burgers out. You want to make sure the burger is smashed so thin. So you're going to want it crispy on that bottom. Look at that. Hello. What's your name? Ronald McDonald. A Kobe beef burger will probably like have a vegan or a vegetarian, you know, looking both ways and then taking a little bite, taking a little nib. Let's get the champagne popping. There you go. In this recipe, you're going to be some dry mustard, one cup of sugar, three eggs, and champagne vinegar. You're going to end up with this amazing sauce, a little champagne mustard sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting it out in the ether that I'm going to win. I make my low-key horns, then I go, come on. I want the golden hamburger. What is it? The ham golden hamburger bun? Yeah, no thanks. Oh, yeah, now we hear that sizzle, too. These are homemade fries that I'm making with Yukon Gold potatoes using both garlic and truffle, as well as green onion. Those are the fries. I went and took, like, a crash course in making brioche bread, and this is the end result. Look, I'm a down-to-earth guy. I'm like, Jimmy, you're a man of the people. What do you eat with your burger? I'm like, caviar. Palm souffle with caviar. And look at this beautiful little crispness. Are you watching this? Come on. My drink of choice is going to be a mezcal margarita that I'm going to serve in a oh, hickory smoked glass. Look, I know dope people. I do dope God damn! Then, of course, your ketchup. Then you put it on your clean plate. There you have it. Champagne mustard double smash cheeseburger with caviar dreams. Kobe beef burger, garlic truffle fries, Jimmy, bow down. History could be made. This is very exciting. <laughs> to decide the winning plate, we have a special guest serving as our master burger judge. He's the author of The Great American Burger Book, and the New York Times has called him the foremost authority on hamburgers. Please welcome the burger scholar himself, George Motes! Thank you for being here, George. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, how, how's, how's your summer going? It's been great. All uh, good. It's Warm. about to get better, George, because uh, it's time to try the burgers. Uh, whenever you're ready, uh, please try either burger number one or burger number two. It's up to you. I'm going to go in reverse order. Sure. Reverse order. Start with number two. Go for it. Oh. Okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a drink that goes with this, right? Yes. Huh. It's very smart uh, to get me buzzed for, for judging. I like it. <laughs> yeah. 
We're always thinking here. Okay, well, hang yeah. on a second. <laughs> describe Where it. Where do I go into this it, thing? Yeah, describe I see it. hot peppers. Okay. This is big. Oh, it's, it's got good, it has great, great heft. Oh, heft. Heft is good. You get points for heft. <laughs> sure. I think I see some jalapenos in there, too. I see ketchup on there, though. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to take a bite because I have to. But I'm not a big fan of ketchup on burgers. Mmm. Mmm. That's a tasty burger. Wow. What mm. are you tasting? Yes. I taste, oh, jalapenos. Hot. I taste ketchup, unfortunately. I'm not a big fan of ketchup. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to get another bite. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. It's also on one of my favorite buns. It's a potato roll. I like that. Mmm. <laughs> Wait. What's, the, what's on the side here? Scallops? What is that? No, no. It's caviar. They try to get me drunk, and someone's trying to get me, obviously, caviar. <laughs> oh, wow. That's actually kind of nice. More. Okay. Chaser. <laughs> this, is, this is interesting. Yeah. You guys have, <laughs> no, not a clear winner. That's very good. Not a clear loser either, yeah. Okay, that was burger number two. Here's burger number one. Number one in reverse. No order. Ooh. Okay. Okay. There's a drink down. Oh, 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 I see a night. Ah, look at this. That's a poolside cocktail. All right. Ooh, that's a margarita. I like a margarita. That's a champagne, I think? Yeah, I think so. This is not a big fan of the bun, tell you right now. And more ketchup. <laughs> Bun's a little too big. Sorry. It's a little bit Well, of, we try, you know. It's kind of a, it's a, uh, like a, like a throw pillow. <laughs> and it actually won't fit in my mouth. I have to squeeze it. It might squeeze on. You get into a human mouth, yeah. Wow, yeah, that's not. Wow, that's a lot of bread. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mm. I get it. Is that spice? It's some kind of a ketchup again. Okay. Well, <laughs> you guys like ketchup. Both of you like ketchup, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's my Yeah. George, the moment of truth has, has, has come. Uh, please write down your choice for the winning burger. Okay, and put it into the official Tonight Show Burger Off ballot box. Into the box. Okay. <clears throat> you lock now, the box? No, no, well, it's locked there to make sure it's, it's completely secure. Please fasten the ballot straight jacket. Yeah, straight jacket. I got the straight jacket. And we have. <laughs> <Really good>. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that the vote is in and secure. There you go. Now, the vote <laughs> is securely locked in. And, man, I just hope the kids are watching. Uh, cool. Okay, who won? <laughs> Here we go. George, please oh, it just open it. It's not really locked. It is locked. No. Hey. There you go. All right. Let us know. The winner is burger number, number two. two. Number two. Yes! Yes! Mike, no, please, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Man knows, he knows what he's talking about. Oh, you guys, I love you. I love you. I love you, kids. I love you, kids. Go to bed. It's too late for you right now. Thank you so much. Red to uh, Milburn, New Jersey. To we couldn't have done this without you, you guys. Number one, the number one burger. Bread, bread alone. My, my shop. My bread alone. Burgers, George Moe. <laughs>